this is one of the most beautiful scenes for a beekeeper. Hatching a swarm and um, I managed to pick out the queen. Put the queen inside a brand new hive body here and then tipped out the rest of the bees onto this sheet and as you can see once they've got the centre of the queen inside all those uh, at the top start fanning pheromones and everything else just boils them up beautifully. Isn't that incredible? Look at that. <laughs> Love the sight of that. Thousands and thousands and thousands of them. All on the move. I did put the piece of wood up as a ramp but um, they all prefer to climb up this piece of orange cloth for some reason. You see that there's hardly even room for them to get in through the entrance. They've been at this for a good hour or so now. This was a, a huge primary swarm. I know that because it was a marked queen. So um, it wasn't a cast with a virgin queen. This was a primary swarm. The old queen being kicked out of the hive and taking with her um, probably a very large proportion actually in this case. Now there is a sad part to this story. Um, the person who originally collected this swarm before passing them on to me put them into a relatively small box and it was such a large swarm, so many bees um, I wouldn't like to guess, probably 20, 30,000 bees in there but unfortunately a tremendous number of them simply sweated themselves to death and so if I zoom out a little bit and show you a horrible sight really pretty much all of those down there are dead all dead, with a few moving ones amongst them um, I've done my best to spread them out a little bit so that any, anything that is still alive can at least get out and has some chance of um, getting into the hive, but that's that's not a good sight at all. And so I suppose the moral of the story is, if you catch a swarm this size, if you collect a swarm this size, you've actually got to get them into a hive very, very quickly so they can regulate their own temperature. It wasn't a particularly hot day today, but obviously too hot for this many bees to be in a relatively small box. There we go, you can see them coming out of the mass there at the bottom, climbing up, getting ahead of themselves and heading into the hive. There's another little clump further round. They will fairly quickly um, figure out where the others are going and follow them in I hope. Um, so we're running a, uh, a Langstroth hive here, homemade. It isn't mine, I'm just hiving the swarm and then this will go on to someone else but we've got 10 uh, frames in there, plastic frames with right cell foundation and um, well we'll see how they settle in over the next few days. I'll make another video at some point and report on that and show you how they're getting on inside there and how quickly they draw out comb on this right cell foundation which is something new to me. Um, have a quick glance around around the garden here. I've got a little nuke box over on the far side there and another Langstroth hive but then over here I've got the old familiar couple of nationals so these would be just with wax foundation. I'm quite used to the way that these guys you can hide a swarm or uh, make a split or whatever and how quickly they'll get busy and draw that out as comb. You can see them there. These, I think, the bright colouring on these, these are um, a bit of a, a hybrid between Italian and the darker bees. Um, but you can see them coming back here. There's also a lot of pollen coming at the moment, so I'm not quite sure where they're foraging, but you can see a bit of a, a, bit of a dance going on there and bees meeting each other at the door. Beautiful sight. Okay, so we'll come back to this in a couple of days and we'll just see how they're going on. And, uh, it's quite late in the evening now, so they're going to need to speed up this process of getting into the hive there, which, which they're doing. There they are. To be honest, it's forecast a mild night, so I have had the situation before where swarms have actually stayed out on, on the fabric, on the blanket all night, and um, they've still been in good form and managed to get back in in the morning. So I'm not unduly worried about this. Bottom line is, harsh as this sounds, the queen's in there. There's a, a good few thousand bees gone in with her uh, worker bees. So, um, at this stage, sad though it would be, even if we lost the entire of the lot, we'd still have a very viable colony in there, which would pick up quite quickly. 